So let's clear up some of the confusion regarding um, acid forming foods and alkaline forming foods. Right, we hear a lot about this. Everyone talks about pH and uh, acid diet, alkaline diet and all these things. And someone asked me today uh, in a comment regarding isn't fruit acid forming? Doesn't all that fruit acidify your body? And that's a kind of a misunderstanding of how this works. Essentially, uh, yeah, there's acids in fruit and unripe fruit has more, so we shouldn't really eat unripe fruit. But still, the acid in fruit is not the issue. Think about it, your stomach acid is way more acidic than any fruit you could eat. So when we're talking of acid forming foods and alkaline forming foods, we're actually talking about the mineral content of that food. So there's minerals in everything, right? In our bodies, in animal bodies, in plants, in fruits, in nuts, and everything has minerals in it. That's sort of the earth that builds everything, right? It's the building, small little building blocks, if you will, of everything around us. And essentially, if we take a single food and we burn it, what remains is the minerals. They don't burn, okay? That's the ash. When you burn something, you're left with the ash, and that's the minerals that was in the, in the substance. So in a way, that's what happens when we're eating something as well. Our body burns it. We, we oxidize the fuel, we use the water. We essentially use up the food and what remains is the minerals, which we also use in our body. And here's the key to the whole thing. Now, there's alkaline minerals, calcium, magnesium, sodium, and then there's acid minerals, phosphorus, sulfur, that sort of thing. So we have a whole bunch of alkaline minerals and a whole bunch of acidic minerals. Now, if the acidic minerals predominate in a specific food, that food will be acid forming. If the alkaline minerals predominate, the food will be alkaline forming, base forming. Okay? So if you're consuming a lot of fruits and vegetables, but let's just say fruits, fruits tend to predominate in the alkaline minerals. Okay? There's a whole bunch of alkaline minerals in fruit. Generally speaking, fruits and vegetables are the most abundant in these minerals. Now, on the other hand, the foods that predominate in acid minerals are things like animal foods. All the animal foods are generally high in acidic minerals. And also, things like nuts and seeds, they tend to be slightly tipping on the side of acidic. And essentially, there's a whole range. And some fruits and vegetables are more alkaline, some are less, and it's, it's just a whole range. But generally speaking, animal foods are acid forming, fruits and vegetables are alkaline forming. Another thing to realize is that proteins, amino acids, proteins are built up, they have nitrogen inside them and sulfur and these kind of things in the amino acid. So when protein breaks down, it's always acidic. So high protein diet would be the worst you could do for your pH balance. But of course, the body maintains the pH of the blood equal at all times. Uh, if not, you would die, okay? So what happens is not so much that your blood turns acidic or anything like that, but the constant stream of acid coming from eating all these animal foods forces your body to actually find a buffer. Because in, if you know any chemistry, if something is acidic and you put something alkaline in it, you neutralize it. So the body takes from its most abundant source of alkaline minerals, calcium from the bones. So we, the bones are essentially leached into the blood to buffer the acid from all that protein. But, which is why high protein diets leads to osteoporosis. And there's no such thing as a calcium deficiency ever recorded in medical history. It doesn't happen. But what happens is osteoporosis. But it's not due to a lack of calcium, it's due to too much protein. Alright, that's another video really. But I hope that clears it up a little bit for you. Fruits and vegetables, even though you're eating oranges and they're an acid fruit, they're still predominantly alkaline when it comes to the mineral composition of the food. So fruits are generally alkaline 
animal products generally acid. And human beings, we're frugivores. We're supposed to get most of our calories from fruit. Fruit fits our nutritional needs perfectly. So eat ripe fruit, fresh, ripe, whole, raw fruit, and that will cover all your mineral needs and keep you in a nice um, alkaline pH, alkaline, fairly neutral balance. We're, we're slightly on the alkaline side, but, but it's almost neutral for humans. So I hope that clears it up. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and stay tuned for more videos coming up on topics like these.